Hi everyone, welcome to another Thursday Learn Day. This week, we're taking you back to the pre-computer era. Ah! Are the modern conveniences of voice recognition and keyboard typing just too efficient for you? Well, you're in luck, because this week, we've got Morse code with Sphero. Morse code was originally invented in 1844 by Samuel Morse. He sent the first telegraph message from Washington, D.C. to Baltimore, Maryland. And the messages are basically a set of dots and dashes. A dot is a short click and a dash is a long click. The clicks were received and printed out onto a piece of paper and a telegraphist, otherwise known as an operator, could decode all the dots and dashes into letters and form words in the English language. If you think about it, the telegraph was kind of like an early version of texting. Okay, the program is set up really easily so that you can write a message and send it to a friend and see if they can decode it. Let's run the default message. Space. What was that one? Oh, yeah. High five! A lot has changed since 1844. We've spheroized this historic invention. Instead of just relying on sounds like the telegraph, this program uses sound, LED lights, and motion to show the dots and dashes of Morse code. Here's how it works. Notice that if you just run the program as is, you see all three. Sound, light, and motion. And if you have a long exposure photography setup, you could create a Morse code transcript with photography. If you have a small space and you don't want the Sphero to move, you can change the motion variable to zero instead of one. And then when you run the program, it won't roll. It will just click and play the lights. Now, if you're like most of us and you haven't memorized Morse code yet, I put a little study guide in the program for you. Just go to the study mode variable and change it from zero to one. And now when you run the program, the program will speak out the letters. H. I. Notice that if you go to the functions category, every letter and number in the alphabet and zero through nine are represented as functions. So you can easily drag them to the canvas to spell out a new phrase. Lastly, if you go to variables, notice that the dot length variable controls everything in all of the functions. So if you change the dot blink variable length, which the default is set to half a second, you can really dramatically shorten or lengthen the dots and dashes and spaces in between words. Now that's some efficient programming, if I do say so myself. I love ones and zeros. Woo now remember, no Morse coding while driving. It's just not safe. What message will you write to your friends and see if they can decode it? I don't know. Post a video to Twitter and post your remix of the program to the Sphero EDU app. See you next week.